today I am talking to Anita, who's over in the UK. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. <laughs> Anita is my favorite all-time online fitness instructor because I'm telling you her classes whip you into shape like no one's business and she has <laughs> magic about her you do <laughs> where she can make you feel like you're in an actual gym workout class her energy is so high and her personal attention is so on point that these classes are amazing and she's got a whole new website set up and I will let her take it from here because I'm just gonna <laughs> okay. so Anita, well, I tell us <laughs> She's been far, far too lovely. Most of my clients call, call me the Antichrist. I have no idea why. But basically, it's probably be because they kind of walk out of a session and think, what the hell just happened? But it's been brilliant because obviously with everyone in the situation that we're in now, it's bringing communities together, people together. And the one thing that I feel I can, I can give to people is fitness. And, you know, had I not met... Holly through accent coaching, of course, yes, I do have a bit of a strange accent. She's trying to fix that. Um, <laughs> the other thing I can do is help people feel better every day. And I really see fitness as something that is a therapy. It's not just something we do to keep fit and go outside and get fresh air. It's something that really, really makes us feel good inside and out. Yeah, completely. So how did you find yourself in the world of fitness and personal training and all of these things? It, it goes back to a very, very long time ago. I was always into sports. It was like gymnastics and then soccer and then rugby and so many different things I wanted to get involved in. And then come late teens and it's just they uh, got a little bit porky. <laughs> so I kind of went from always been this kid that did loads of exercise and never had to worry about my weight and my health and then all of a sudden yeah the mirror and my my stats were saying otherwise so I did a transformation in 2004 which was a body uh, they called it body for life transformation it was 12 weeks and I was super strict on nutrition I learned loads about nutrition and always wanted to get into personal training at some point because I'd had a fantastic personal trainer previously. And when I went through that whole process, it was about week eight to week nine. And a couple of people that I worked with just said, what are you doing? Tell me about this. Well, you know, I want a bit of this. I want something of this for myself. Um, so I told them about it and they were like, you should be a trainer. I was like, oh no, I, you know, I was doing a job that I didn't want to do. And then thought, do you know what, bugger it. I'm just going to go and get trained and do what, what I really want to do. And that kind of comes around to a part of the motto that I've lived by for many years, which is become who you really are. And a lot of us feel inside that we want to be like someone else or we, we aspire to um, be someone else or we're inspired by other people. And that's great. But I think at the end of the day, when it comes to your health and fitness, become who you really are. So I transformed myself and I've never looked back and it became one of those things that I thoroughly enjoyed helping other people. It was that whole endorphin thing. No one needed drugs. No one needed <laughs> anything crazy. They just needed fitness and it snowballed from there. So I got trained and I worked in New Zealand in the Middle East and have my business in uh, the UK now for quite some time. So I've been doing this for nearly 15 years and every day I just feel so lucky. It's How one of the best cool. jobs in the world. That's really cool. So your business in London, before all of this COVID-19 stuff happened, it you yes. did all of your training in your studio, right? Or did you already work online? No, I didn't work online at all. In fact, um, I've always been a person to person um, that's, that's how I've always wanted to run my business. And mm -hmm. what, what was actually pretty terrifying is that idea of change. A lot of personal trainers have done programs um, with clients online for many, many years, but in a different capacity. And all of a sudden there's this thing called Zoom and there's these different meetings that you can have online. <laughs> and in my studio, I don't even have Wi-Fi. I mean, I'm not a techie person, but... You know, I've got a portfolio of up, to, it was just under 60 clients and I had to look after them somehow. So I thought, right, what am I going to do? So the 
when we were getting towards lockdown, I thought this is going to happen. So I launched Fitness Squad, um, which is basically a free or donate service. Um, and that was to generate um, ways that I can help people if they didn't have any, uh, any income, lost their jobs, mm -hmm. still want to get some fitness and try to actually create the content in a way that they feel like I'm speaking to them, that they feel like I'm with them every step of the workout. And, you know, pointing out this, pointing out that, this is what you do, get your butt down, you know, pull your stomach in, pull your shoulders back. And that was a really nice way to, to know that I could connect with people and still keep them focused on that strong mind and strong body because the two really, really do go together. Um, lockdown happened that next day, which is on 23rd of March. I freaked out going, what the hell am I going to do? Yeah phoned one of my clients and said, look, um, can you please talk me through the whole process of perhaps doing these via Zoom? Spent two, about two days setting everything up, did a whole lot of program design, and by the Wednesday, we had our fir first live class. So everything's out of the studio, everyone's in their homes. And when people are working out with, with myself, and I often have my glamorous assistant, Martin, which is my husband, who's bonkers, and we do tend to um, like to dress up a little bit so yeah. it's, it's it's not just yeah it's not just like you go online and you have a workout there's always a little bit of quirk thrown in the mix which is you know that's kind of our thing so it's been great so we've been doing hit training we've been doing online boot camps we've been doing resistance training there's something for everybody and in terms of if people have got a an injury they've got issues with their knees or backs I'm like okay this is what you do here's the modification so I feel like I can really connect with everybody and it's been amazing it's like this whole online thing what's that about something it's like uh, oh, well, why wasn't I doing that before <laughs> and it's given me the chance because I had never trained with you until yeah, now it was right. online and suddenly I'm in Spain and you're in England and I feel like we're in the same room because you're just so present on the screen. You really know how to deal with that situation. P.S. I think you should coin the term cork out. <laughs> cork out? What? Cork out. out. It's like a quirky a, a workout. workout. Yes, a workout. I love it. Actually, one of my clients came up with this brilliant, brilliant, um, brilliant uh, coin thing that she coined, uh -huh. and it was, uh, I'm in quarantine, you know? We're in quarantine. <laughs> We're in quarantine to quarantine, honey. And I thought, I like that. It's brilliant. You quarantine, so, yeah. and then you have the quarantini to celebrate. Yeah, yeah, the quarantinis. <laughs> if you've done your quarantine, it's like no cards before mobs. <laughs> Amazing. So, yeah, so, do you have any tips? So, for other people who are dealing, I mean, a lot of people are in that same situation where they're having to work on how to move online. Or maybe they're dealing with a life change like you did physically and you had to change your lifestyle. Do you have any tips for people on how to deal with change in a way that's non-destructive? <laughs> Absolutely. I think the biggest thing is always remember that whatever you say to your body mm -hmm. gets into your mind and then you'll believe it. It's like if you if you believe something, you're right. If you, want to, if you want to achieve something, believe it first. Be kind to yourself. One of the big mistakes that I found that I used to make, mm -hmm. which a lot of my clients do make, is putting themselves down. Give yourself a little bit of a breather. Find something that you really like. Like, you know, if it's dancing, dance. If it's weights, do weights. If it's yeah. someone that you particularly connect with, research their stuff and find out a way that you can work out with them, whether it be live or some pre-recorded stuff or, or whatever you want. But I think the biggest thing is don't, um, don't be destructive with your mind and your body by putting it down and then also drowning it in. I mean, of course, all of us like a drink. I like a little drink of wine on the weekend. But I think if we take that to the point where we lose that love and self-respect for our bodies and lose the importance and understanding of good nutrition and how that really invigorates us and makes us feel amazing, then just focus on one or two things a day. I always say to my clients, if they're overwhelmed and they feel like they're trying to change their bodies and change their minds, don't try and do everything at once. If you decide that, right, this week, I know I need to drink more water, then make that your focus. 
the following week if you know that you can keep that habit in place and add another one like eating at least two servings of fresh veggies and fruit a day fantastic so you just kind of add a catalog of things until your lifestyle habits really really start to change and that's one thing i did in that transformation years ago was you start with the basics and you build on that and if you and if you stuff up doesn't matter you know the next day is a chance to keep going and it doesn't mean that you need to go oh stuff it you know i, I buggered that up yesterday so i'll just leave that now it means actually you're human and that's that's cool you're recognizing you're seeing it for what it is so just don't beat yourself up and just add one little thing each week and before you know it you've formed five six seven or even eight really really good habits you know great so what are your plans last final quick question for the rest of the summer have you made plans are you going to carry on working online even if you can go back to the studio what are you thinking you're going to do i'm definitely going to go back to the studio but there's an absolute and i realized just how permanent i can make a lot of my classes online there's been quite a few clients. Yeah! <laughs> and that's the lovely thing, you know, it's connecting people from all around the world. It's allowed me to also help people that I haven't seen for a long time. So some of the people that have been going, Amina, what do we do? You know, I haven't seen you for so long and I see you're doing these classes. And basically I've got this, this private Facebook page and all of a sudden all these old clients were contacting me. So I've said, don't worry. I know if I was back in the studio that you'd be having to drive half an hour there, half an hour home, do your workout. And that's taking a huge amount of time out of people's days. Everyone's perspective is changing on quality of life. So I'm gonna definitely, definitely, definitely still keep all of my HIIT training online. The entire, that, all of that's gonna be permanent. And I'm looking to integrate now how I can do the, the home boot camps and the resistance training online as well as run the studio. But it's been fun. I mean, we've been using things like water bottles, cans, yeah. cushions. We were using cushions this morning. It's amazing. You look around the house and you think, oh, this, that'll work the guns or that'll work something else or that'll yeah. work my I use my, my laundry detergent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then I had to buy more because I thought, oh no, I'm using it up. Now they're getting lighter. <laughs> I need to. <laughs> They've been the best. I love it. It was you and one other client. I was saying like lifting up these big <laughs> detergent bottles and I'm like, yeah, fill those up. They're heavy. I'm like, don't throw them out. These are like gold now, you know, fill them back up. But it's, yeah. yeah. Made me realize you're pretty fit, Holly. You're pretty fit. I don't feel it when I work out with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's only because, yeah, like, like my clients say, I'm a little bit of an antichrist, but at least there's fun with it. <laughs> no, but you're not, you don't have that, you don't have that, even in the boot camps, you don't have that attitude to fitness of like, kill it, let's go. It's very upbeat and like fun. And oh, like, go on, you're doing well. Like, it's. <laughs> Christ without being the army sergeant you know which yeah really great. I think you've got to have fun I think that's the thing at the end of the day and if people are struggling at home the biggest thing is what makes you feel good if fitness makes you feel good you're going to want to go back and do it and it's all I always find you know we go to our same hairdressers the same person for this the same person for that because it's the person that we resonate with and if it's fun brilliant so, you know, the fact that you say it's fun, Holly, that makes me happy because I want people to come out feeling really good. We had, a, we had a few online this morning. It was quite funny. And just before I mute everyone on Zoom, I'm like, how are you? Oh, I'm really tired. <laughs> I don't really feel like it. <sighs> and it was like something was, was going on this morning because so many of them were saying how they were tired and they didn't really feel like it. And at the end, I unmuted them and they were like, And he's like, oh, good. You're in a different mood now, aren't you? I said, right, crack on, go and have a really good day now. Off you go. <laughs> Brilliant. So we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much. And You're we welcome. Where can we find you? What's your website? We will link it below this video or next to you or wherever it is in the comments. Um, of course. If you want to um, my website, my brand new website is www.fitnessfod.com. And that thing that it's free or donate. It's not a fitness fad. It's fitnessfod.com. Um, all of my personal training stuff is on my other website, which is 
www.anitaalbrecht.com. Dot com. Um, I'm sure Holly will post that below yes. and that's, that just gives a bit of a background of where I've come from and maybe some of the people that I've helped as well. So Fabulous. I'm really looking forward to your workouts. Yeah, I can't wait to have you back on there. You don't know what's in store for next week. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. You guys will see me interviewing people here and I'll just be like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. what's wrong? Oh, I'm sore from a needles workout. <laughs> but I'm so happy. All right. Thank you so much, Anita. I will see you soon. Thank you, Holly. Can't wait.